Hey, John. I remember when you and I started working together at Ready Education, you really grabbed on to this idea of running three-part meetings as a powerful way to coach your team. I wonder if you could share with our audience what you found so helpful about it. Sure, Brett. Uh, as we've talked about, the benefits of instilling the discipline of adhering to the three-part sales meeting and how it ha really helps prevent sales meetings from going off track or ending inconclusively. Uh, we really like focusing the first part of the meeting on true value discovery and getting to the buyer's very specific pains and probably more importantly, their definition of success. Too much sales discovery is often very, very superficial and salespeople don't use it well to build momentum in the conversation. Discovery oftentimes just ends up being uh, a long wind up for a demo or for a product pitch. And as we worked with Winalytics, um, we really built the muscle that good value discovery sets up the right product discussion in the second part of the meeting. Rather than a generic product pitch or a demo, uh, a really strong, well-defined discovery process makes it possible to map the product or the solution to the very specific buyer goals. And that's kind of the key. Um, finally, the, the third part of the meeting, or the last 10 minutes, as you call it, uh, should always focus on confirming where the buyer sees the most value, and then the very specific actions that they're committed to taking to secure that value. I love it. That's a powerful summary of the role of three-part meetings, and I'm just curious, how, how have you seen it help the performance of your team? Well, at Ready Education, we saw a 50% drop in deal cycle times in a very short period of time, between three to six months, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. And that has sustained itself over 12 months. Uh, two things happened. Uh, number one, the team got a lot better at figuring out which deals had the strongest likelihood of succeeding. And those deals that moved forward were much better qualified. And secondly, we got a lot better at building a roadmap for our buyers, and we learned how to work collaboratively with them on the steps necessary to close the deal. So both of those helped us focus in on the deals with the highest likelihood of closing and then advancing them quickly. That's awesome. What a story. I love it. Just your, your team clearly leaned in to be just being intentional at each step to figure out which buyers were moving forward and which worked so they could focus their time well. That's great. Thank you. Thanks for the time today, John. Thanks, Brent.